Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place. I'm back. Actually, I got back last night, but I was tired. Didn't get much done last night. Just did a little um, spreadsheet fun with my stats and I went to bed early and I slept a little later than usual and I just woke up from almost two hours of napping. So apparently being out in the sun from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. took something out of me, but now I should be well rested. Okay, so I stayed overnight at the hotel and got a nice early start. I was out the door by about 8.30 in the morning, 8.20, but I forgot a yarn needle and I had stuff I knew I was going to be sewing together. So I stopped at the Walmart near the hotel and I got a yarn needle and index cards because I thought I forgot my price tags and little drink mix powdered things to um, keep myself hydrated. I had eight bottles of water with me. I finished seven. One of them I had today. Okay, so I got there. You know, like, am I going to be able to set up the tent all by myself? The guy at the table, or not table, tent next to me, took pity on me, grabbed a corner of my tent and helped me pull it out and put the, um, put the cover on. And then he went into the center and pushed the center up so that it was locked in. So tent went up easy. Um, got everything set up. Okay, the show started about 10 minutes ago. I was set up. Three minutes before the show started, I got my first sale of a water bottle sling. I had to go out to my car to get my water bottles and I found one more crate hidden under my overnight bag. So I think I'm all set up and ready to go. Won't be able to post this till tonight though. Bye bye. So then the show was supposed to start at 11. 10.50, I got my first sale. A water bottle sling for $10. Woot woot. <laughs> it's great when you get the first sale before the show even starts. Um, I stay pretty well stocked on water bottle slings. I probably sell one or two a month on Etsy and for Street Fest, which is in 13 days. Yes, my biggest show of the year. I usually sell, I don't know, 20, 30. I think 30 was my, no, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to go back and look. I know that one year I sold 15. Then I think the next year I didn't sell that many. So maybe 15 is the record. Okay. I will check while I'm editing and put it up there. So after the water bottle sling, about 40 minutes later, I sold the gecko. It's, it was pretty much old stock. So I don't know if I have a picture of them to put up here. Just an orange gecko, my own pattern. Um, then, 10 minutes after that, I sold a red gecko. So I don't know if the kid with the orange gecko was walking around and somebody's like, oh, where'd you get the gecko? And he goes, over there. 10 minutes later, I sold a red gecko, which I think has been in my shop for a year or two. So yay for old stock. Quick stat, I sold 16 items at this show. Nine of them were items I made since I started this YouTube channel. So this year, so over half of the items were new makes. Okay, then right after the orange, no, the red gecko, after the gecko run, after the run of the geckos, I sold, now this one I just made. So I know that I have a picture to put up there. The baby blue sea turtle. Now this was part of my July challenge. The blue use it up challenge. So I know I made this one this month. 
That one sold for $14. Then a family came along with two kids. Each kid got to pick something. One of them picked Soxy Doxy, which I've also made in the last few months. Another one bought the ramen noodles, which I made in the last few months. So Soxy Doxy was 22, the ramen noodles were 15, $37 order. I had my credit card reader, you know, she said, well, you can only get these if I can use a card. Yes, yes, you could use a card. Okay, then I had another mom come through and she got the two-tone frog. Picture of that up there. Um, I think I've got a picture. I know I have him in a group shop. And my corgi. I just made that a few months ago. So that's out of stock in my shop again. Well, that's that's a good thing. When you make stuff and it sells and you got to restock it, that's a good thing. Posture. Is everyone watching the video sitting up straighter now? Okay. That was in the, like, there was a boom, 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 like 11.42, 11.47, 11.54. So I had a really good run there of steady customers. If it had been like that all day, that's what Street Fest is like. But this, it sort of went whoosh, boom. So my friend Joanna sometimes listens on headphones as she is cleaning the church. So she is going to be wondering what means. So <laughs> I'd love to see her face when she hears that. It, well, maybe she'll actually watch it. Since it's on Sunday, maybe she'll actually watch it at home. Okay. So then another quick sale, 1203. Happy Huggy Cat. The color block version. Yay! I haven't even gotten around to publishing that pattern yet. And I already sold one of the items I made while I was prepping the pattern. So that was nice. I had those priced for $24. Okay. Then I sold a yellow sea turtle. This one had embroidery on the top. The, the pattern itself is just for a plain sea turtle. But I was having fun with different versions. I made this one and a purple one with stripes and spikes. Both of them sold. Okay, there's an ant crawling on the ceiling. If my eyes keep like, ugh, where did the ant come from? Okay, so after the sea turtle, I sold a snake and it was just Within 15 minutes after I set the snakes out, I ran out of space on my tables and I had some extra stock in a bag under one of the chairs and in that bag were the snakes. So, ta-da! A kid was looking through them and he settled on the brunette blanket snake that I made in cream, white, and tan. It was just a shorter one because it was the leftovers from different projects. But boom, I think I had it marked for $23 or $24. And the grandmother was rooting through her wallet and she goes, I only have 21. Would you take 21? Yep. Those worked up so quickly and it was scrap yarn. And he was a cute kid. Okay. Then I sold a blue turtle and my notes say blue turtle embroidered, but I don't know what blue turtle it was and I can't find it. It wasn't listed in my inventory and I don't have a blue turtle like the picture that's in my head. I don't have one in my Etsy listings. So I'm not quite sure where this blue turtle came from. I'm not sure, sure when I made it, but it sold. And it had one of my price tags on it. It wasn't like somebody just came along and dropped a blue turtle. It was one of my turtles. <sighs> I try to be organized. Really, I do. But sometimes things just go crazy. Then, did I say that was $10 for the turtle? Okay. Just a little, just a little guy. Then I sold another bottle sling. 
for 10 bucks. I just have them all on a rack with a sign that says bottle slings $10. If they are in my Etsy shop, I do have them like the smaller ones are like $9 and the bigger ones are $12. Then I have to pay shipping on those. So $10 is good. Then, you know, the yellow sea turtle I talked about a little while ago, I sold the purple one from the same pattern, which of course, once I get around my, to my laptop, I will link below. I have my nice list of sales. Okay, I did I tell you guys that I went into this sale with high hopes. I had printed, come on, I can't pull two, I printed two of my sales sheets thinking, okay, I'm going to be prepared if I've got two pages worth of sales, one page, but I can use the extra tomorrow. Like I'll print up a new top sheet, not tomorrow, Saturday, the 29th. I'll print up a new top sheet with the stats over on the side for street fest. And then I will, um, just use the second one for overflow because over on the side I put stuff like how much I need to sell to break even how much I need to beat my worst show so far this year how much I need to sell to beat my best show this year and how much I need to sell to get into the top 10 this one ended up in 20th place which hey the way this year has been going I'll take it. Street Fest is going to be better. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell I'm getting psyched for Street Fest? This show I was getting worried about. I am getting psyched for Street Fest. Street Fest is going to be great. The only thing that's going to mess up Street Fest would be a full day of torrential rain. But it should be great. Okay. We were at the turtle there. And then a little girl came in with her parents. And she, I think she was only about five years old or so, she recognized axolotls and she wanted an axolotl. So I'm like, okay, here are these and these are $15 and here are these up here. These are only $10 and here's this little guy. He comes with a sleeping bag and he, you know, I have three different types in the $15 range and this one up here. I thought I had two in my $8 or two for 15 bucks. Couldn't find them. I should just dump that box out and inventory that box so that I know what I have. So I don't spend like five minutes in front of the customer like, oh yeah, there's an X lottel in here someplace. Okay. Oh, oh, I can stop giving you times, didn't I? Like the, the blue turtle was 1230. Then things did start to slow down 1250 before my next sale. And then one, 13 to the next one so this one was at 228 over an hour passed between sales things were slowing down so that was the axolotl pumpkin in a little brown bag now i need to restock that and then i sold strawberry bonnie are you listening i sold the spring green squid that i just made yay I hope I could figure out how to add sound effects. That one needs applause. So last night when I got home, I was too tired to do anything. I did stats. I sold 16 items. And unlike other shows, this show had no sales under 10. And all um, four items that were $20 or more. You know what? I need to stop talking because if I go over 15 minutes, I can't upload the video. So I already tried this once and talked too long. So I need to sign off and say goodbye. But I'll be back in a couple days letting you know if I actually finished anything this weekend or if I just took nap after nap after nap. No, I'm feeling fine. I'm energized now. I will go out and get some work done. Bye-bye. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.